my fellow medical school classmates at the University of Toronto, from where did you come? And I'll ask again, from where did you come? In the midst of our excitement and in the midst of our joy to finally experience this stethoscope ceremony we've desperately been longing for, I'm sure our hearts and our minds are brought back to moments long before this one. Moments that signify the sacrifices we've made, challenges overcome in order to make this present a reality for ourselves. And while our stories are different and our adversity is certainly unique, there are several experiences that speak to us similarly. Like the countless hours we've all dedicated to our studies, personal growth, professional identities, or the bravery displayed to depart from our families, our homes, countries of origin, in order to pursue our calling. It wasn't easy to say that goodbye, give that last wave, make that final smile, not necessarily knowing when the next one will be. Nor was it easy to fight against stereotypes, norms, false beliefs about who you are or what will be your destiny, yet we are here and we have thrived despite our circumstances. So never forget from where you've come. And in the same way, always remember those people that stand by you, comfort you and strengthen you. They are a part of the pillars that form your firm foundation. The system of lamps in the lighthouse that guides you back home, I hope that you continue to see that our victories, our successes are just as much as they are theirs because of the fight that they've displayed and the kindness that they have shown. And as for me and many others, this homage would not be complete without reverence to past trailblazers, ancestors whom in all their courage, sacrifice and painstaking effort have laid the platform that I'm so blessed to be able to speak on today. So yes, well, challenges will arise because as Chica or Wiwa said best, in my white coat, I am more black than ever. The scar suffered by those before me also means that my blackness, that my story has a chance to be seen and to shine bright in this space we call medicine. And I say this to you so that you also never forget from where you've come. Because memory of our past makes living in the present that much sweeter. So receive this ceremony with joy and celebration. Embrace the happiness of new moments made, memories shared with classmates completely void of all hesitation because quite frankly, you deserve it. We deserve it. But it would be remiss of me to end my message here without recognizing students in our classrooms who are in the depths of their own struggle, heartache, trial, and fear. Do not give up. Hold on and press forward and reach out to people you trust because your trial is temporary. Remember that resilience only grows in the crux of adversity. You will make it through this storm, just like you've done with all those before. And it's for this reason that you should never forget from where you've come. Because your past will always give you insight on where you need to go. And although our paths are different, they're united by one simple truth, that we get the chance and the privilege to contribute to people's healing, to bring joy, alleviate suffering from a hurting child's face, to raise up those facing racism, persecution, discrimination on differences that we as a society should collectively embrace. I hope that the opportunity to stitch the widening wounds of our communities brings us to a point of humility and growth. But my friends, how will we know how far we've come if we forget how many steps we've taken? And how will we know what our future passions will be, our trajectory, if we lose sight of all the discoveries, trials, and learnings that have shaped it? This is why with every moment, every single chance we get, we should never forget from where we've come. Thank you.